good bead table Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> I'm Heather Powers. No, nope. keep doing that. Hey guys. <laughs> welcome. I'm Heather Powers, your host from Humble Beads, and I am a bead maker, jewelry designer, author, illustrator, and your all-around creative muse. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's my job to get those beads off of your bead table and into some jewelry. And I'm just playing with an idea today, and I thought I'd share it with you and see what you think. Hey, hi, Debbie and Lisa and Lynn, Susan, Wendy, Candy. Hi, everybody. So I am starting with a knotted cord for this project. Hey. Um, <clears throat> I've been looking at a lot of trends on Pinterest for jewelry for 2024. And one thing that kept coming up were little, um, charm bracelets. Oh, Em, you've got COVID. I'm so sorry. I am finally on the other side of mine where my throat sounds funny, but it's from coughing for the last two weeks. <laughs> But I'm finally symptom free, so I'm pretty dang excited about that. Maybe I'm a little congested too. It's not fun. I want to go do something tomorrow, but I'm not going to get to. So I keep telling myself, I feel fine. <laughs> but I don't want to get anyone sick. So probably have to stay home. Okay, I'm down one light, so it's a little dim in here. Oh, oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> it's a miracle. Okay, so let's get this light turned on full blast. Let the camera adjust for a second. Woohoo! Okay, so back to my uh, trend report. So we're doing a big trend report on Friday, excuse me, Saturday. Uh, for the Great Beat Extravaganza, host, and it's going to be hosted by Neely Patel, and a few of us are gathering and sharing uh, trends that we've seen that we're loving, and one thing I kept coming up seeing were, um, not bracelets, but necklaces that were charm necklaces that were either on fine chain or colorful cord, uh, all different kind of cords, and so I decided, and I have my project half finished here because just got the idea this morning. <laughs> I was hoping the vintage box, uh, subscription box was going to be here, but um, this, they're going to be here next week. So I had to come up with something for you guys. So I'm going to do a little charm necklace here. I'm going to show you guys what I did for the cord and um, just get this working. All right, you guys who are in uh, tornado warnings and your power is going on and off. Cheryl and Wendy, you guys be safe and uh, hopefully uneventful. <laughs> Today we have snow, which is super exciting. It's our first snow <clears throat> of the winter. And so it feels cozy. I like it. All right. To start this, I took three cords. Let me grab my tape measure, which is long and crazy. And you'd think it was right here, but now I'm not seeing it. Okay. So let's see. That's 36. So these are about 50 inches long. And I did three of them. So three cords that are 50 inches long. And this is four ply wax linen. So this is the thicker wax linen that I'm using and it's four ply and I took three strands and tied them together. Just a simple little knot because I'm going to tie the other side on here and it's just going to be a little knot in the back because this is a really long necklace that just slips over your neck. And I just braided it guys. Just a regular um, three cord braid. And then Man, I really need my... <clears throat> well, this is about six inches. And then I did a knots with all three of them. 
and then a bead and a knot with all three. And I'm going to show you guys that down here. I didn't use any kind of board or any um, like macrame equipment for this. I um, just had it here on my table and held it in my hand. And that worked fine for this project. You don't need anything extra for it. Yes, the charm necklaces are so appealing. They're so pretty and fun to look at. And to me, they seem very um, French, don't they, Lisa? They seem very French to me, and I like that um, little easygoing feel that they have. Okay, so I am only working with the top cords right here. I'm not worried about what's happening on the bottom yet, and I'm going to do a braid... I'm just going, you know, one cord over the other to do this little braid. And then every few um, few little sections that I do, I just pull it tightly. And that's it. And then when I do that, I just go through all the way down the cord. And on, on it's not tangled. I just um, pull them so that they're straight on the bottom. And I'm not doing them really tight. There's a little bit of looseness to the braid. And then when I pull it down, it tightens it up a little bit. <laughs> yes, happy snowy Tuesday. And I know you guys on the East Coast have really gotten it. Um, it's actually nice to have the snow instead of just gray. I always enjoy that part of winter. Okay, I'm just seeing how close I am to do about three more, I think. I'm trying to keep them roughly the same size. I'm not like counting and I'm not getting a measuring tape or anything. I'm just eyeballing to keep these all pretty much the same size. Okay, now I'm ready to do the knot. And I'm gonna take this piece. And I'm knotting all three of the cords together at once. And I'm gonna pull this knot down to where my braiding stopped. Hi guys that are joining. How are you doing? How's the first week of January, uh, second week of January going? Are you guys excited for the Great Beat Extravaganza this weekend? I am so excited about it. I can't wait. <clears throat> okay, now I have the uh, four millimeter cornerless cube bead. And these are going back in the shop today. So if you guys are looking for these, we have them. And we're getting those back on the website right after the show here. Okay, I only put it on one cord, and I'm going to take all three of the cords and knot it. It'll only fit on one cord, and uh, it looks just fine. So, Lisa, I see I answered your question. We were great minds think alike. <laughs> okay, now I want to make sure this knot is nice and tight all the way to the bead. And... I'm going to do just a tiny bit of um, knotting here. I'm going to do about mm, a little bit more than a three-eighths three of an inch. A little less than a quarter, a little more than a, <clears throat> excuse me, a little less than a half, a little more than a quarter. And then I'm going to do another little copper bead. And this is the center of my necklace. And this is where my little focal bead is going to go. You guys got a snow day. Your son got a snow day for his birthday. That's like the best. <laughs> Super exciting. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. Just that little bit right there. Just enough for one little charm to get tied on there. And I'm going to do the knot with all three of them. Close. 
close that up. I mean, tighten that knot. And then I'm going to take the top piece here, top cord, and string on my cornerless Q bead. Now I can't find my tape measure, Ruthann. Uh, this is about an inch and a half, I would say. An inch and a half to two inches. Man, I wish, my, my tape measure is huge. You would think I wouldn't lose that, but uh, it's one off. <laughs> As things do on my table. Okay, so that's gonna be the center of my necklace here. And I'm just gonna do one more section. I'm not gonna do the whole necklace. Just giving you guys like the basic instructions and you don't need to watch me braid for a half hour <laughs> oh. and really Ruthann I'm not really measuring anything on this necklace I'm just kind of going by eye I, this is just like a really chill easygoing project um, just fun <laughs> <laughs> the wax linen for this length, Susan, I started with 53 strands of 50 inches. So 150 inches of cord, three strands of 50 inches. So you're going to need roughly three, um, three cords of 50 inches. And so just going through doing the simple braid like you've all done since grade school. One cord over the other. And then every few um, sections I'm just pulling tightly on the cord to straighten it out. And then I go on the bottom and separate the cords that are on on the bottom here of the strands so that they don't get knotted. And if you have one of those like macrame boards, you could use that. Or you could pin it to a piece of um, cardboard too. That works too. But I'm just doing it in my hand. I just wanted <clears throat> a project I could do sitting on the couch, <laughs> you know, no special equipment, nothing needed, just super simple, really easy project. And I'm just doing a regular little braid with three strands of four ply wax linen. Thanks Lisa for writing it down. I think I'll put that up there so people can see. And this necklace is going to be, um, long enough that I'll just be able to slip it over my neck. All right. Do two more and I'm ready for my next knot here. So I'm going to take all three of the cords, wrap it around my finger, pull the, oops, all three of the cords through the knot. Not the knot, the loop. And now pulling it down to make the knot. Okay, and now I'm going to separate one strand out and string on the cornerless cube bead. And then I'll tie all three of the strands together. And these little cornerless cube beads, when the necklace hangs down, they're kind of going to be a little anchor for your charms to land on. So that's why I have these little guys on here. And also using the metal beads gives the um, cord a little bit of weight too. So it um, will hang down and feel like, you know, that it has a little tiny bit of heft to it. Okay, so I have one side all done. Have an extra strand there. <laughs> And now, for these little guys, I just took my Vintage um, Ultimate Soul Paints, 
add some different colors here. Kind of going for brights. Um, let's see, I use this for the little nest, for the little eggs, and then the lapis blue for the butterfly. And then I dropped my green, but I had a, like an emerald green. And I used this coral color with a little tiny bit of white to do the pink on my flower. And now you can do several, you can do two things with these. Let me show you up close. So this one, I took my buffing block. Of course, it's not going to. I took my vintage buffing block and just buffed it and had a little bit of the gold shine through. You don't need to do anything for the paints. I don't know why I'm not coming in very clear. You don't need to do anything for the paints. They are going to adhere to the metal. They're stuck on there. They're not going anywhere. Um, if you want to do more of like a faux enamel look, you could put a little bit of resin on top of them, a little bit of UV resin, and then, um, you know, hit them under the UV light for a minute or however long you need to do that for to have more of a uh, faux enamel look. I actually like them um, a little matte. So I am using a little bit of Renaissance wax on top of the um, colorful soul paints and that gives me a little less shine, which is what I like on my, <laughs> what I like to see. I have this little guy, the leaf. I'll show you what I did with that. I took a head pin, a fancy little ball head pin. I'm going to start them this way. So you put the head pin on, and you're going to have about um, a, a little bit more than half inch on this side. And you're going to pull both of the ends up over the leaf. Kind of bending it down. And now you're going to take the ball side of the head pin. Oh, I really don't like that this isn't coming in clear. Okay, me and my camera are in a fight today. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take the end of this ball and wrap it around the head pin to tighten that little wrap up. Okay, so I wrap that little guy get that up here a little bit closer. Come on camera. There we go. You can see how I have the two pieces of wire wrapped around the leaf. Maybe I should stop trying to focus on the bottom. And then I did the little wrap around the wire with the ball part of the head pin. And I'm going to trim this up. and just do a simple loop on here that's going to fit on onto my cord directly. So I want to make sure that's closed nice and tight. Okay, so that's my little leaf guy that we have. Hi, Gina. Oh, you're watching the bird feeders in the snow. Cute. Okay, speaking, speaking of birds, I took one of my little willow birds here and put it on a head pin with a two by three millimeter faceted bead, uh, a bead cap, and then one of those cornerless cube beads. And I did a little wrapped loop on the top of that one. And I have a hibiscus flower, a 12 millimeter, and I'm gonna do a little wrapped loop on that. And then I have two of the 
two by three millimeter rondelles on a head pin and I'm gonna wrap each of those too. So I'm gonna do this really quickly. And this is a great way to use up extra beads that you have lying around. You know, the little one-off beads that were left over from projects. You can use any, um, any beads you want with this. You know, you can work in uh, all different colors. You can do a crazy color combination like I've done here so that you can wear it with anything. Or you can do a monochromatic piece or a seasonal colored piece. Whatever your little muse is saying. We could do a pink and red and cream piece for Valentine's Day. That would be sweet. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got to get it close to me. I'm fighting with this one. All right. Well, that's a little rough, but we'll pretend it looks better than it does. Okay. <laughs> Again, let's see if we can do a slightly better job on these guys. And I am going to use head, I'm not head pins, jump rings to attach these to the necklace. So I'm not worried about which direction the little loops are going and using the jump rings adds a little more movement to the charms but also gives you some flexibility of where you want to have the charms so you don't have to have it all planned out you could move them around before you completely commit And I am going to have a small collection of kits right after the show with this, um, with these necklaces. So I put together, oh, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So if you'd like a kit for yourself, I don't know why I'm struggling with these headpins. Um, there'll be a few of them. <laughs> Yes, Susan, Talisman is that whole little charm vibe. Uh, talisman would be more of where you put um, like a meaning or intention to the piece. So Talisman oftentimes were like little pieces that had spells or charms, as in spell charms, <laughs> done to them. Um, but now more for our modern day, we use them more as symbols and intentions because that's just how we work now. But yeah, I'm digging the whole talisman vibe too. And I really love the little French appeal of the charm necklace. And I'm really loving lots of color thrown into a piece right now. <laughs> I think it's because I've had one too many gray days and now I'm just at the point where I'm like, okay, I need all of the colors right now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm fighting with those head pins so much. <sighs> okay, now let's get some tiny little head pins. I mean jump rings. And these are the little five millimeter ones that I'm going to use. <clears throat> Maybe. Or, you know what? I think it's still the little five millimeter ones. I am going to grab the six millimeter ones that I have that are copper. Yeah. I'm going to use a slightly bigger one on here so I don't have to... Um, to worry about that. Um, Susan, to get notifications of the live, all you need to do is follow the Humble Beads page, and then when I do the notifications on the page, it'll give you a little um, update. Today I did it pretty late. I don't think I did my update until um, 
an hour before I was ready to go live. So <laughs> try to be a little bit more on top of it, but today was not that day. Okay, so I have little tiny jump rings. These six millimeter ones, I like them because they have that little rope texture to them, which are fun. And I like that we have the copper matching the copper on the little um, cubeless beads. Donna, that is a great suggestion too, where you can use gemstones, um, little gemstone beads that have different meanings to the stones too. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, I'm gonna start in the middle with my little guy here. And then just seeing how I'm going to do this. I think I might, I might add more charms later. Like I'm feeling like I need an excess of charms instead of just one on each. We'll start with one and then we'll see. <clears throat> we'll go from there, right? But I'm feeling like I might need more. I'm feeling extra today. <laughs> Hi, Chris. I'm glad you're here with us. All right. Just adding these charms on with the six millimeter jump ring. Yeah, to get those live notifications, guys, just go to um, the Humble Beats page, which I think most of you are on right now, and click on follow. And then if you click on the little three dots next to the follow, it should be, um, there should be something that says get notifications. And that will send you notifications of whenever I post something on the page. Trying to find the. <laughs> My eyes today. Okay, so this little guy, I am going to have to twist him going front to back. Close that up. Make sure your little loop is completely closed. I don't want your charm to fall off. That would be sad. <laughs> yeah, we're going to blame the camera for everything, Lisa. <laughs> it is hard to do. I, I, I'm getting old and I do more and more things closer up to my face. I probably need to go in and get my prescription checked. It might be time for a Oh, well, that helps too, okay. I have bifocals, so I just pushed them up from my nose, and now I can see a little better. <laughs> oh, getting old is no fun. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to wear. I have, like, a really cute um, cream-colored sweater. And all these colors are just going to pop on it. I think that'll be really cute. If you guys subscribe to... Oh, this one's going to need a little tiny charm and then the big one. Because the little hole's too tiny. If you guys subscribe to the... Um, vintage subscription box from Jess Lincoln. Um, this would be a great way to use up any extra little charms that you've had from the year that maybe didn't get used up in a project. So you might want to pull out some extras from the uh, vintage boxes if you had any extras left over. 
You can paint them all sorts of fun, funky colors. I know I have a whole tray of goodies from the last few years. Okay, and then my little teeny tiny bead up here. And I feel like I am gonna want more charms on here. I'm gonna play with it after the video and see exactly what I want. That's always the thing, like you can have the plan in your head, but until you see it like made and see how it hangs, there's always gonna be little edits which is part of the fun of the jewelry process. <laughs> Glasses management. I love that. Laura. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Last little charm on this side. For now, I'm going to, uh, I know I'm going to do more little charms. It's just, it's begging for more. start of the year you have to have some ab abundance right you don't want things skimpy <laughs> you want a lot of charms a lot of pieces flying around here yeah I think I'm gonna add more little beads so what do you think guys that's the basics of the project you're just gonna have your little cute charms on there I love using the bright colors let's see we have a rust color that I think would be really pretty too and I have this dark um I forgot the name of this color blue is it denim blue no it's not denim oh Williamsburg blue maybe and then we have the sage color which is um kind of a greenish well jade it looks like jade to me I don't know <laughs> I've lost all my words but this would be really pretty too I, I think if I do a second one I'm gonna do it with this and maybe one of my little blue birds on that and then peach and yellow beads would be pretty all right uh, candy, the, um, other knotting cords, any of them would work for this project. You're just going to have to use, um, the glue that you use for knotting. You'll, you're going to have to glue your knots. With the, um, wax linen, you don't have to glue your knots, but with the other cords, you're going to have to use, you're going to have to use, um, glue on the knots. The other kind of cord that would work would be the Ceylon cord. You could definitely use the Ceylon cord too. It'll give you a different feel, but um, yeah, any of those kind of cords could work for sure. <laughs> oh, Kelly, you got thunder snow, huh? Oh no, you're it's thundering and it's going to snow in 10 days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, guys. So this is a fun, easy project. I think you're going to love it. I'm going to finish it here real quick and um, adjust the kits because I know I want to add a little bit more on here. This is going to be the, oh, let's see, maybe I want to do that one over there. Yeah, you kind of have to play with the balance of shapes that you're going to have so that you can have, um, you know, you want your, you want your piece to have this kind of in and out kind of flow to it so that you're not having like all the same size shapes. So you can see how I've done that with, um, these different pieces where we're having longer and shorter pieces going back and forth to add interest on the necklace. So I'm going to play around with this, finish it after the video because you guys don't need to see me nodding um, <laughs> 28 inches of cord, which is this final necklace is 28 inches when it's all done, 26 to 28, depending on how long you want and how big your head is. <laughs> I'm so goofy. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, so don't forget, Friday we have the Great Bead Extrava 
extravaganza is going to start at 7 o'clock with the preview party. And then we go all day Saturday and Sunday. Sunday at 1 p.m. I'm going to be doing my project, which I... Let me grab a photo of that real quick. Or do I have it right here with me? Dun, dun, dun. I do have it right here with me. I don't have to download anything. Okay. So this is going to be my project that we're going to be doing on Sunday at 1 p.m. And it's a knotted um, wax linen and leather cord project with my beautiful little birds. We're going to have lots of birds for sale this week. Um, I will have the kit for this later today. And we're going to just be having tons of new beads all week, all weekend. And then for the TGBE, we'll be doing um, our wobble giveaway. We're just going to continue our wobble giveaway. So if you've been ordering this week, we've just been throwing in beads for you guys, extra beads. So the, um, the wobble beads, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to make you wait until Friday and Saturday. If you order now through Saturday, Sunday, we'll be adding the wobble beads in your order. And that's $50. Every $50 you get free wobble beads, which are the little um, cuties that I make. I don't have a... That's these little guys. Perfect for earrings or little spacers. Or if you need a little pop of color, maybe I'll add a little wobble. In one of these, I have a little orange wobble. Maybe he would fit on there. Oh, that'd be kind of cute. So, every fifty dollars you spend all this week, we'll be adding the little wobbles in for you guys. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we are going to be doing clearance sales. So we have um, beads that we only have like one or two strands, or they're um, no longer being offered by our supplier so they're closeouts so we're going to be doing some sales with uh, some select check glass beads all right guys that's it thanks for joining me i'm gonna finish this up and take a picture of it share it in the um on the humble beads page and then i'll let you guys know when those kits are ready all right susan what are you omg in for <laughs> <laughs> oh, a good sale. Yes, everybody loves a good sale. Yeah, we have a lot of beads that um, that are closeouts that the company that we buy from doesn't offer anymore. And I just have like one lonely little strand here and there. So we're just going to be going through. And then there's some beads that um, we just don't want to carry anymore. So we're just, you know, out with the old and with the new. And... Um, we have limited space here in the studio, so we want to make room for new <laughs> and more exciting things. So, all right, let me finish this necklace. I'm going to post it for you guys, get the kits listed, and work on some more orders for today. Thank you guys so much. I will see you on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, no, excuse me, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the preview party and you guys go to the great beat extravaganza uh the page and make sure you follow the great beat extravaganza page and all the videos will be posted there and the schedules on there too and then don't forget to sign up for our giveaway that we have for the great beat extravaganza we have um all the uh presenters have put beads towards the swag bags and we give away three swag bags and so you don't want to miss out on that all right guys have a great weekend stay warm stay cozy stay um creative with your beads nearby and i'll see you on friday there's not going to be a friday coffee break video because um you have two extra videos friday and sunday from me so i don't want to over video you <laughs> Oh, I'm so dorky. So, have a great day. I will see you guys on Friday.